So when you are working with remote sensing data, uh, especially raster data, there are instances that uh, we come across uh, that needs to conduct atmospheric correction. For an example, when you are considering Landsat data sets, uh, the Landsat uh, level 1 products are not atmospherically corrected. However, there are certain uh, data set that is uh, approximately corrected, uh, which are TOA collection. So in this uh, video, I am going to show you how we can conduct uh, atmospheric corrections for Landsat data sets with inbuilt functions. So for this example, I have already uh, working on some lines of codes which, uh, which we use uh, about a few videos back. So in here, first of all, I am going to take the Landsat 8 uh, and then uh, Landsat uh, 8 image collection and then I am going to select my region as the GN boundary layer which I already imported uh, from my hard drive and then I have filtered I have conducted some filtering uh, uh, techniques to filter a single image from this image collection so for this, uh, the first filter is the uh, date filtering. So in here, I have only considered images from 2017 January to 2017 October. And then uh, I sorted them according to the cloud cover and obtained the first image. So basically what I have done is the, I have obtained the least cloud cover image of a Landsat data set uh, uh, pertaining to this filtering uh, date interval. And then we can uh, add, add uh, this layer into a map, uh, map layer. So before we continue with the atmospheric correction, let's just run this program and see how the image appears on the uh, Google map. So now here you can see the image appears on Google map. And now I'm going to uh, use how, tell you how we can uh, use inbuilt functions of Google Earth Engine to conduct atmospheric corrections. So uh, for this example, I'm going to use some algorithm called Landsat <coughs> uh, calibration. So in here, if you want, if you want to conduct uh, atmospheric correction, uh, we can use this uh, algorithm ee.algorithms.landsat so in google earth in google earth engine there are dedicated uh, built-in functions to work with landsat images so first of all i'll create uh, variable And then we have to give the input in here we are uh, we have we will give the filtered image and then uh, we can conduct the we can run the program so first of all I will uh, remove this uh, comment in this one and then again I will add the atmospherically corrected image to the Google map. So let's run it again. So likewise you can get the atmospheric correction corrected image. The problem here that I haven't specified the correct minimum and maximum values. So in order to visualize the band we have to give the correct minimum and maximum values. Now let's run it again. So now you can see the atmospherically corrected image here. 
So in this way, we can easily conduct atmospheric corrections with uh, lens set images. And also, uh, even though it is not directly relevant to the atmospheric corrections, there are algorithms uh, in uh, Google Earth Engine that we can easily convert the raw data into radiance value also. So for that, we can use this calibrated radiance uh, built-in function. So we can copy this and then we can create another variable and we can input the image that we have filtered. So for the time being, I'll just uh, come in this one and then we can obtain this copy of this line of code and then replace this with So likewise, we can uh, easily conduct uh, calibration techniques for uh, to uh, Landsat images uh, without any difficulties. So that's it from this video. See you in.